Hello Internet, this is Baden from Voice Tutorial with the first installment of a tutorial series on writing batch files. And if you don't know what a batch file is, I'm about to explain that. So I will open up command prompt and how I did that's not relevant. Actually, if you want to open it, press start, type in cmd, and then click cmd.exe. But anyway, command prompt is something that's exclusive to Windows and you can use it to run commands, things that could open other programs, delete files, write files. Um, the amount of commands that you can use is immense. But just an example, I could do start notepad.exe and then it starts a notepad for me. It, uh, it opens that up. And what a batch file does is it automates executing commands. <coughs> and on top of that, it also allows you to use basic structures, the basic logic structures that are similar to ones you might find in a programming language, like decisions and loops and variables for input and the like. In order to start writing a batch file, open up Notepad, which you could have done through a batch file. Just putting that up there. And Notepad's all you need. And later, I'll show. Um, how do you uh, show another program that would be more convenient to use, but you don't actually have to download anything to write a batch file. Anyway, just to start off and show how you would go about making one, uh, I'll just put in the command that I just showed you, start notepad.exe, and then save as. And it's important that you don't save it as a text document, but you come down to all files, and then you can type in your own extension. So I'll do notepad.bat and then I'll save that and now I have notepad.bat and if I click it I get a quick flash of command prompt and then notepad is open because it executed that command for me and that's just how a batch file works and how you would go about writing one and in the future tutorials we'll talk about what you can actually do with them so stay interested 